no idea how to do this, but I am currently trying to connect the camera to this so I can see like a viewfinder. I also have a croissant because croissants are delicious. Okay, so I could not get the um, viewfinder thing to work, so I will have no idea how the recording is going on this, and I also won't know if the camera does, so I'm going to be checking that very often. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to see, but I currently have a broken ankle, so that's why I'm going to be doing a Q&A today. Yeah, and um... I'm gonna have it on, actually I explained this in a clip already, so I'll just play the clip, the clip for you right now. Yeah, I did that. I actually won't show you what I did because that is one of the questions for today's Q&A, which is what I'm doing. Since I have a broken ankle, I won't be able to go out and train and actually film for stuff. So I'm gonna be recording this as a Salmon Saturday. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do more Salmon Saturdays, because they'll either have to be like, question and answers or like a live thing, I have no idea, but I'm gonna try to get stuff out. Um, while I have my broken ankle, I'm getting the cast off in like three weeks. Someone's walking down, I don't know if they're gonna come in. Um, yeah, I'm getting this off in like three weeks, or two weeks now, I think. And after that, I'm gonna have a walking boot on for another three weeks, and then I'll be able to train not too hard, cause like, it's gonna be very weak after it, so I'm gonna have to get get it stronger before I can start really training and getting good videos out. But yeah, I'm gonna get into this Q&A right now, and hopefully it goes well. I haven't planned a script out for anything, script out for anything, as you can see by my stuttering. But yeah, I'm gonna try to answer these questions as best as possible. I don't have many questions, so I'm gonna try to go in depth with all these, and hopefully it goes well. I tried pulling up the comments for today, or the questions, and all I got was Chance doing this sick pre, and I thought I'd show it because it was big as heck. Yep. That was big. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up now, and then restart the clip and start answering questions. Alright, pulling up the questions now on my computer, and I will try to put them... Okay, I don't have a good editing software, so I'll probably just, like, put them like fully on screen so it'll take up the whole screen for a second so you can see who said it and like just like so you can see the comment so I am pulling that up now and a question was just asked so I'll answer that too and um yeah so I will I'm gonna try to figure out the order that I'm gonna answer these in like try to format it somehow I don't know like what kind of format I want it to be but I'm gonna try to get like a good format and then I'm gonna start answering all the questions. Um, is it recording? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's how unprofessional this setup is. Um, okay, so first question is from honest.abe.101 and I thought I'd answer this first because I almost answered it in the intro. So, how, dang bro, um, says dang bro you broke your leg question mark question mark and um yes <laughs> uh not my leg i broke my ankle doing um a double side flip i was way too high up for it and i was not ready for like the air time that i had and i didn't think i was gonna land as soon as i did and i didn't absorb because i didn't know i was gonna land and just all the pressure came down on this one ankle and it just like it didn't snap but like actually yeah it kind of snapped I will see if I can get the um, the x-ray pictures, but I know I have the video which I'll play right now. Wow. And yeah, that just, it was just way too much pressure for my ankle, and yeah, I'm gonna have this cast on for, I think I already answered this in the intro, but I'll just say it again real quick. I'm gonna have the cast on for like three, or two or three more weeks, and then I'm gonna have a walking boot on for another three weeks after that, I think. It's either three or five weeks. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have that, and then I'm gonna be able to start training more and more as it gets back to like where it used to be. 
but yeah, that happened and it sucks. <laughs> All right, so the battery that's in the camera right now is dying and I have one more charging, so I'm gonna hope that those two are good enough for all of like, I think 13 questions that I have today. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, if it's not, um, I'm gonna record the rest of it tonight, which is gonna have worse lighting, but I'm just gonna have to work with it. Or I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm actually recording this on the 17th, so it's Monday. So I have a lot of time to do this, but I have nothing to do today and I was getting bored. So <laughs> I decided to do it today, but if I get more questions like every day, I'll just answer those as I get them. But yeah, next question is by Julian.cp. How do you make slash build lines? Do you draw inspiration from any particular athletes? Also, how many times do you have to do a line until you get it the way you want? Um, whew, that's a lot of questions there. Okay, I'm gonna answer them in the order that he asked them. So, how do you make slash build lines? That is a hard... Okay, take number three at answering this question because I am bad at talking. Um, how do you make slash build lines? I don't really have a certain set way that I make my lines. It's really just like what comes to me a certain day. I am getting texted. Why do I get texted during recording and never? Oh my gosh. Okay. I Nope. <laughs> okay. So Fernan was the one that texted me during the recording. So I'll call him to see what was so important that he had to mess this up. Fernan. Fernan? Hello? Guess what you did. Yeah. Guess what you did. What? You messed up my recording. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I was answering a question and then you messed it up. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Answering your recording for what? Your QA? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yes. I, <laughs> that is all part of my plan. <laughs> Fernand, what did you want? <laughs> I honestly just had the ear to just call you a bitch. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you recording this? Uh-huh. <laughs> the... What's up, Russ? Okay. Okay. <laughs> just... Just... Okay, so, to answer that question, um, yeah, I don't really have a set way that I make or like build my lines. It's really just like if most, okay, I have kind of a way, but like it's really just whatever like feels right a certain day. But most of the time it's I have a move that I really enjoy doing or like a new move that I want to like show and I just work off that with other moves that like I either do all the time or like I just like a lot. So yeah, I just do that and then sometimes it works out really well and then other times it works out like uh, lines like this that I hated doing. I'm ready, I'm ready, go. I, I'm going. Like Gogurt, Gogurt goes. Gogurt goes good with your bros. But then it's Brogurt. Your bros with your yogurt, your Gogurt, Brogurt, bro squirt and you squirt with your bros. Squirt bros. Also, just look at this setup we got. We got the books to place the camera on, we got the questions right there, and we got this tiny little flashlight that I put there to hopefully help with things. And we also got Tresk, Uwu, Owo. And that is there for moral support. So now it's time to answer more questions, which is that one. Okay, the second question was, do you draw inspiration from any particular athletes? Which goes with another question that I'll answer right after this one, since it goes with it. And um, yes, I obviously, I think everyone draws inspiration from at least one particular athlete, which would be their favorite athlete. Which my personal favorite athlete right now would be Josh Malone. He is just like really great at everything he does, but I won't go into too much detail because that is saved for a different question asked by a different person. And yeah, so I draw inspiration from Josh. Um, other athletes would probably be like Kaylin Chan. Um, hmm, other athletes. 
I obviously take inspiration from the people that I train with. I mainly train with um, Fernan, Chance, um, Michael, um, yeah, just the whole Vegas community. Yeah, so like, but to be fair, I pretty much try to take at least a tiny bit of inspiration from anyone that I watch, which is why I follow so many people. I'll see, I follow 684. I know that's not a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me. So yeah, I just follow everyone that I want to take at least a little bit of inspiration from and put it into my movement. And yeah, that was a really good question. Okay, um, I will answer the question that goes with that one and then I'll answer his last question. Okay, so from Chance underscore Mini Tarzan, we got it. Who's your favorite parkour athlete? Give six reasons why in intense, vivid, extreme detail. I am not gonna do that last part because that would take way too much time. So I'll just give a couple reasons in a good amount of detail. So I've already said my favorite athlete is Josh Malone. Um, he just has like a really great like his style is really his own. So like he doesn't really if you watch okay so like I don't know if it's just me but like whenever I see people's styles I'm like if I were to put them in like a silhouette just like a like a silhouetted version of them and watch them do their movement would I be able to figure out who it is and like how easily if you were to show me a silhouetted version of Josh doing his own line that would be like in extremely easy to figure out that it's him like he has his own style 100% and yeah he's just like another thing that I really love about him is like the way he pulls out his like insane twists out of nowhere <laughs> It's just like he goes, barely takes off, and just pulls out like a dump or a trip like out of nowhere and it's great, so yeah. Okay, his next question is how many times do you have to do a line until you get it the way you want? And that really just depends on what line it is. Some lines can take like, like 15, 20 tries. And those are the lines that I hate doing and um, some lines can just be like first try and like but I never expect to do a line first try because I'm so used to it being like 15 or 20 tries because that's what most often happens. So yeah, um, so mainly 15, 20, well not 15, 20, mainly like at least 10, but sometimes 15, 20 and very rarely I get stuff first try. Okay, um, so we got a lot of good questions, but we also got some questions like this one from Flux Movements which is, what age was Phyllis Wheatley when she became the first African-American woman to publish a book? Um, so, I don't know much about um, history, but what I do know is that no. <laughs> and going along, the, I'll just get these out of the way, going along the topic of weird questions, from Stefan underscore Doyle underscore parkour, is water a god because it's powerful or because it's flowy? Um, okay, so, hmm, I don't know the answer to this question exactly, but I will try to flip it in some way. Um, so is water god because it's powerful or flowy? Let's just go with water being powerful. Actually, let's go with it being flowy, and I'll just go on a little, like, question... more <laughs> getting I just I I give up no I'm, I'm actually done this time <laughs> okay um next question is from M I dot C H I'll just say Michael dot M um how long have you been flipping and how did you start okay I've been I'm going between three and four years, I'm not sure, but I always say three years, so I'll just stick with that and say I've been flipping for about three years, and I started, so I was a tad bit overweight when I was a child, and by a tad bit, I mean I was fairly overweight, so yeah, that was a problem, and my mom obviously knew about it, so she was trying to find ways to fix it, and one day she came up to me while I was laying in bed, not thinking about anything, and she just said, hey, do you want to try this? And she showed me parkour. And I was like, sure, why not? And I gave it a go at um, my old gym, which was HKPK, which is now non-existent. It closed down a year or two ago, I think. 
and yeah, I just fell in love with it, and I have not stopped ever since, so yeah, that was a great start, like, I could not stop doing it. I used to have, like, these little couches in my house that I would just do, like, safety vaults over, or, like, reverse vaults, just because it was so much fun, and yeah, that's just, that was the best time. Just because everything was new and like kind of scary like even the small stuff where I wouldn't get hurt I was scared of which brought like a lot of excitement which is probably why I really really enjoyed it because I didn't have much excitement back then obviously because I was not doing anything so doing that was like a really big step up in both like a physical and mental state which was great <laughs> Okay, so from Troy Boy underscore, we got, what grade are you in? Um, I am actually in fourth grade. I know that I might look like I'm 15, but I'm actually just four. So, um, that's not how grades work. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. Okay, but in all actuality, I am in ninth grade. Um, I can't really go into much detail about this question. So yeah, ninth. You guys need to go check out Steez's new video because it is really, really good. Like, just, just look at this. Yeah, you guys just, just go watch that. That, that's great. Okay, next question is from Fernan underscore flips, which is, what's your favorite shoe to train in? Give six. Reasons why in intense, intense, vivid, and extreme details. Obviously, you can see that these, uh, that Chance and Ferdinand are the two friends that I train with because they're trying to annoy me with these questions. So I'm not gonna give the six reasons, but I'll give a couple reasons again. And my favorite shoe so far has probably been the, um, the, uh, hold on, let me pull it up real quick so I give the exact name. Uh, my favorite shoe so far that I've ever trained in has probably got to be the Take Flight Ultras, but I've heard that they're pretty much just a knockoff version of Onitsuka Tigers, so they're probably a little bit worse, so I'm going to get the Onitsuka Tigers after these ones like break down, and I'll probably like put a little like um, review on my Instagram to see which one is better, but I'm going to automatically assume that the Onitsuka Onosuka Tigers are better, but I won't let that like influence anything. But yeah, those are probably my favorite just because like they're really like they look small when they're on, which I like a lot. And um the rubber sole. Like I used to wear um Olo Ninjas, I think they're called. Um I really like those because of their rubber sole, so the fact that these have those and are like a little bit better in my opinion, just like they're great. <laughs> Okay, next one is from Matnaz Sharistani. Um, it's when will you come to Orange County? Whenever I am able to, because I always want to travel, but sometimes I just can't because of like a lot of different reasons. But like whenever I'm able to, I'd of course love to come. <laughs> next question is from Arzu SH, which is my mother. Um, who's your favorite person in the world? Not a dog. Um, so I am going to answer this question, but the answer is going to be on the screen very small somewhere. So wherever you think it is, just look and you'll, if you try hard enough, you'll be able to figure out the answer. All right, that was all. We got all the questions on my account done. So now we got to go to the Tresk account. And we've already done a couple of these, but, oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. But we got a couple more to do, and then that's it. All right, so I just recorded this, but I kind of forgot to turn, like, I didn't record it. I pressed the record button, but I kind of forgot to turn the camera back on because I had turned it off because I had to look through Instagram real quick to find the answer to this question. But next question is from my girlfriend, Curly dot red um, favorite line you've done so I'm actually yeah like I said I'm going through Instagram looking and I have a lot of honorable mentions but I'll put like three or four before I actually put my actual favorite line and yeah so here you go
Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, I just spent like an hour trying to find uh, favorite stuff. Well, not like an hour, like half an hour. So if the lighting is a little different, it's because it's been a while. But I finally got that and you just saw it. So final question from Bandyman19. What's the best feeling you've had in parkour? Like if it was stomping a super hard trick or an amazing moment at a gym, just what's, what was your best experience you've had while training? So the end there, he says, um, while training so I'll give like a best feeling that I've had from parkour and then after I'll say like while training so from parkour was definitely getting an email from Team Tresk which is the way I'm making this video right now so yeah like getting an email from them saying that they want to sponsor me and like that was just the best feeling because I had been trying out for two years I think um, to get like affiliated with the team at least and finally getting the, uh, that opportunity was great so that was definitely my best experience just from parkour in general but best experience I've had while training was probably at um tit jam like a year or two back um after the competition um just feeling accomplished for at least getting into finals and just doing what I felt was a really good run for me and like yeah that was just a great feeling because I had done a couple competitions before that and they all went not great so that was like the first competition where I actually felt like really really proud of myself for doing my runs the way I wanted to so yeah those were great I use the word great a lot that's a problem I should I should fix that <laughs> Alright, so that was a lot more fun than I thought it would be, and it took a lot longer than I thought it would actually. I think I started this at like 2 and now it's 5, so that took 3 hours, but it was a great time. So yeah, that was fun. I might do another one in the span of having this broken ankle. Probably not next week because that's just too close together. So yeah, that was great. <laughs> Dang it, see? There's the great thing. Um, the great thing. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching this video, and thank you for anyone who left a comment or a question, rather, because that's the only reason I was able to make this video. So, yeah, um, we got a lot of videos coming out all the time, so keep out, keep a lookout for those, and on Instagram, we're just posting all the time. So, yeah, that was a good time. Yes, okay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>